Here is my first meal for Monday and it's 2 p.m. Didn't eat anything yet, so I don't know if this is going to be the only meal. We will see, but I have some lamb seasoned with salt and some rosemary and added bacon fat. So we'll see how this works out. Here is my first meal for Tuesday. I'm having the remainder lamb. Yesterday, I ended up just having that one meal and I'm eating a little bit earlier today, so I'll probably end up having another meal, but I'm having lamb, rosemary, salt, topped with butter. Here is my first meal for Wednesday. I have some eggs and my husband ended up grilling, so I have some strips of steak right here. So this was the only meal that I had for Wednesday and for Tuesday, I only had one meal as well. Here is my first meal for Thursday. I have a ribeye steak okay. with some added fat and two eggs and just season with salt. Here is my second meal for Thursday, though I don't know that I can necessarily call this a meal, but I had some pork rinds and I sprinkled some cheese on it and I went back and got some more cheese after this. And I have to say that I think that I was more tired than I was hungry. So instead of going to the kitchen, I probably should have just gone to bed. And I have to say that this totally was not worth it because I had way too much cheese and it left me feeling bloated. Here is my first meal for Friday. We had some more lamb, so I cooked it and here we go. Here is my last meal for Friday. My husband and I stayed up a little bit later because we had an in-home date and we watched a movie. So I decided against the pork rinds and cheese scenario because that was just not a pleasant ending. So instead I had five scrambled eggs with some bacon fat sprinkled with salt. So I enjoyed my food and my company. <laughs> Hi. I hope you enjoyed the things that I shared in terms of what I ate this week, but I also want to just talk really quickly about sitting together at the dinner table. We are a family of eight and our children are involved in different activities and it's so easy to just give in to this idea that we can't slow down and that we can't spend that time together. And while we don't do it every single night because of our different schedules, we try at least a few nights a week to sit together at the table to have a meal. And it's been really nice over the Christmas break for us to even have more time to do that. And I fully maximize that time. It wasn't just for dinner. It was for breakfast and even sometimes for lunch, just that coming together. And of course, because of my eating schedule, I didn't necessarily always eat with them, but I realized just sitting and being there was enough and it was extremely effective. So I just want to encourage you to really slow down. Don't let life get so busy that you miss out on what's most important because when we sit there at the table, it's just a very relaxed setting. And it's amazing to me the things that the children are willing to open up because about because it's not like just this formal thing. And Listen, I'm just going to tell you now, I am not one of those where we put out fine china and, you know, everything is nicely set. Sometimes the table, if somebody walked in, they'll just be like, oh my goodness, you didn't teach your children to use the right fork for this and whatever. And that's really not my point. While I believe in etiquette, I... <laughs> You know, my biggest thing for us coming together, for me pushing, is just for us to have that connection. So yeah, they may not have um, the best table manners. And while I feel that that is important, because I do have one that is like, he doesn't understand the concept of a utensil. Uh, and he uses his hands constantly. So, you know, we're working through that. But what I'm saying is when we sit together at the table, that's really not my main focus. It's about us sharing our hearts and sharing our day. It's amazing because as we're sitting there and the kids open up about their day.
my husband and I are able to just give feedback and to help them filter through their thoughts and conversations happen um, just more organically when you're sitting there at the table. So I just want to encourage you, make time for the kitchen table. And even, you know, if it's not every single night of the week, because for us, realistically, it doesn't happen like that. We try, though, at least a few times a week to make it happen, to be intentional about it. So anyway, just leave me a comment below and I would love to hear from you. Is sitting together as a family, um, if you know, you're know you married with children or even if it's just you and your spouse, is that something that you try to be intentional about and what have been some of the benefits? Would just love to hear from you. All right, that's it. You be blessed.